Hello, uh, today I'm going to be introducing a tool I've been using to facilitate the feedback I give to the learners in my class. And uh, this is a tool called Class Dojo. And basically, it enables you to let your students know how they're performing in class on a day to day basis. And um, I'm going to take you through the process of setting this up and show you you exactly how you can use it. Uh, it's pretty simple so it should only take a few minutes. Okay so at this point um, I've signed up and I've logged in to Class Dojo so you can see me here Mr. Simpson hello that's me. <laughs> okay Class Dojo logo up here and what I'm going to do now is create um, a class and I do that by clicking on this button up here create a class. Okay so I can put my own class icon here if I want by changing that, but I'm not going to do that now. I'll fiddle around later. Okay. None of these years are good for my context, so I'm just going to choose other. And let me just call it class number one. Okay, so you can call it whatever you want here. Create a class. All right, there we are, class number one. Okay, so now I need to edit this class. All right, so see got the basic info there now we're looking at the students so who are they George Clooney's not the name what you can do here is copy and paste a list so student A student B student C and what you can do is write the surname here so we can have C Smith a Jones and B and their surname is Z Y X Zix. Alright, so you can add as many students as you want here. If you just um every time you add a new student you go onto a new line. So D and their surname is Dizzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigzigz
save and close. Now we're ready to start our class. So here we go, we go into class and we want to start. There we can see all our students here. A. Jones, B. Zix, C. Smith and D. Dschft. Alright, so A. Jones arrives on time. I click on A. Jones. We've got a list of their positive behaviors. So they're here. What do they do? Alright, arriving on time. There we go. One positive for them. D. Dschft. Um, let's see, what did they do? They were playing with their phone. So bang, they get a minus one for that. Alright, so. As you can see, it's as simple as that. Uh, you can do this as often or as infrequently as you wish. You can maybe do it after every single class hour if you feel like doing that, or you can just sort of get an impressionistic idea at the end of the day. Well, so let's say all of them were on task for the day. We can award multiple students. What we can do is choose three of them. Then I give an award. Um, they were on task. They, they all, these three go up one, D doesn't go up one. Um, if they all did something good or bad, award multiple students. If I want all of them, I can select all of them in that way. Then I give the award. Um, persistence, okay, there you go, so look at that. D's come back from minus one to that. A Jones is uh, the top performer so far in the class. So there you go. Now of course, if one of them's not in class, what you can do is at the start of the day, let's mark them all present, so they've got a little green, and then let's say C. Smith is there, that means late, or that means absent. Okay, so C. Smith's absent, then we save attendance. Now, now that we've done that, C. Smith doesn't come up, they're absent, so if we award multiple students, all of them, now we mark all of them, but we're not marking C, because they're not there give award uh, teamwork. These three work really well together. There you go. All right. And uh, those are the basics of how you use this. So let's end the class now. It's the end of the day, so we're finishing. There we go. Now that gives you the overall impression. What a nice day that was. 91% positives. I gave 11 positive um, behavior stamps, whatever, and I gave one negative to D. And uh, that's how A. Jones is performing overall. And of course, you can do this every day, so you can get you can build up an impression of how these students are doing over the course of time. And of course, the great thing is you can share this with them, so they can get instant feedback on how they're performing in class. They can come and say, "Well, you know, teacher, why did you give me this?" And I say, "Well, you know, you were playing with your phone consistently during the day, so that's why I marked you down." for your playing with the phone. You arrived on time, so I gave you credit for that. You had all your books, I gave you credit for that. You were on task throughout the day, I gave you credit for that. You were being a dis bit disrespectful to some of the other students, so I knocked you down for that. Um, all of these things you can do, and they're getting instant feedback, which is very important to um, young learners these days. So this is a really good tool for letting them know immediately how they're getting on with things. And, as I said, you can, um, you can do some other things with this, so I want to go to A. Jones. If I click, it gives you this nice full report. Okay, so this was the day that I did this on. And as, as things continue, you get daily reports like this, so it, the list goes down and down and down. And um, if I want to download that, I can. It saves it as a PDF file. Okay, download reports, A. Jones, save reports. And there you go. It's going to save it for me as a PDF file. Now, it saves it automatically as report.pdf, so you need to go in and change the name of that. But that's, you know, that's good. And I'll just do that. Let me save it and I'll show you. And this is what it looks like. Okay, and then if you want to share this with your students, you can. Okay, it doesn't look very much at the moment because I've only done it for that one day but it builds up over time to give them a sort of a good idea of how they've been performing in class. All right, so let me close that. Close. Now I want to, as I said, I want to let my students um, 
get access to this so they can see on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, if you're in a situation where you can inform parents, um, you can invite them to have access to this. Um, not relevant for my context, but it's possible. Um, students can get their own logins. What we can do is go up here. Student logins. All right. And this creates some um, a file where you can print it off and they each get their own individual uh, login details. So let's go through that now. Print invitations, hand them out, students log in. All right. Dojo codes.pdf. Let's open that. There you go. So we've got student D Dishit. And this is their own individual code here. C Smith. And as you can see, they're all different. And what they do is they come to this address, student.kalasdojo.com, um, and then they'll be asked to put in their own code. They're all completely different. And that will give them access to their um, file. That will show them how they're performing. Nobody else in the class, just them. So you've got the element of privacy, but you're also allowing them to see how they're doing and on a daily basis or however, you, however often you're um, updating this. Okay, so we've done that, we've printed those. Okay, so classes, there we go. So that's it, basically. Uh, quite simple to use. Um, if you're going to use this, then my advice is to um, start it off with them together. And you can, you can decide with them, if you want, what positive behaviors do you want me to focus on? Um, what do you regard as negative behaviors? If you're playing with the phone, do you want me to call you up on it? Um, if you're off task, do you want me to make note of that? Um, and make sure they know what's expected of them from the very start. So if you say, look, if I catch you playing with the phone uh, 10 times during the day, I'm going to mark you down with this. Um, as long as they have an idea of what, when they're going to get uh, praise or you know, when they're going to get negative feedback, then it's it's quite a good thing. If you don't inform them, then we're like, hey, why did why did you mark me down for playing with the phone? But if they know that they get a certain number of chances, then um, they know where they stand basically. And I think that's the most important thing, letting them know where they stand. And if you say, look, um, if if I just look around and you seem to be on task during every lesson, then you're going to get credit for that. Okay. And if if you daydreaming once for thirty seconds, I'm not going to mark you down for that. So it's just, if you're going to use this, uh, set your sort of boundaries with them so they know exactly where they stand. And um, I think this is a really good tool and they get feedback as quickly as when the class is finished and you can just keep them informed as well. So I've been trialing this for um, a couple of semesters now and it's working quite well for me. Okay, so uh, good luck. Let me save and close. And that's all I have today. Okay, thanks for listening.